I'm Satya Malik, and today I'm going to teach you how to turn your OpenCV Python code into a web API in under 10 minutes. To accomplish this, we are going to use a web application framework written in Python called Web2Py, and we are going to host it on pythonanywhere.com. Uh, the benefit of using pythonanywhere.com is that it also provides an online IDE, so you get access to uh, a code editor with syntax highlighting, a terminal, log files, etc. right in your browser. Get started with the registration process. Um, it consists of two steps. First we will register for pythonanywhere.com uh, and then from within Python Anywhere we will install Web2Py. So we will actually be putting in two sets of passwords. So here I'm on pythonanywhere.com and I click on this. Let's create a beginner's account. And I'll just choose learn OpenCV3, some email address, G. Select a password. So this is the password for Python Anywhere. Later on, it will ask for another password and that would be for Web2Py. So let's register, save my password. Uh, from here, let's go to the web tab and add a new application. Next, select Web2Py and it asks for a new password. So this can take a little bit uh, time. Now the benefit of using Python Anywhere is that OpenCV comes installed on Python Anywhere by default. So that's very convenient. You don't have to do any installation. So it's creating all the framework files, all the default files, etc. Okay, so it's done. And now what we are going to do is we are going to add um, a new application on Web2Py. So here, click on this link. I've opened it in a different tab. Uh, go to the admin interface for Web2Py. So it can be slightly confusing that this is Web2Py inside uh, Python Anywhere. So keep that in mind. You have to put in the right password. Now log in. We are going to create an application here. Uh, let's call our application open CV tests. Let's create that application. Great. Now we can go back to the, our old tab and go to files. Now because we created this uh, new application you'll see that Web2Py is installed here. Inside Web2Py we have these applications directory and there are a bunch of other applications but our new application uh, OpenCV tests is also there and when you click on it you'll see the standard model view controller framework. Explaining the model view controller framework is beyond the scope of this tutorial but let me give you a short explanation. So roughly speaking a model contains all the data and the rules of the application. The controller contains the code for manipulating the data so it controls the data and the view shows some state of the underlying data it presents the data. So in a simple web application, the database serves as a model, the code that manipulates the database, say based on some user action, is the controller, and the HTML page that faces the user is the view. For this tutorial, we want to create a very simple web service that uses OpenCV. The web service will take in an image URL as input, and return the width and the height of the image. It's very simple. And for this simple web service, we are going to add just a few lines of code to the default controller. And we are not going to touch any other file. And the default controller is located inside the controllers directory, and it's called default.py. So let's click on it. And it opens in a pretty nice, syntax highlighted editor. Let's add some OpenCV code to default.py. To save time, I will 
cut and paste a tiny function called image dimensions and then we will go line by line to understand uh, what's going on. So here I did, just cut pasted uh, about 10, 10 lines of code. The first four lines are just standard imports and before I explain the rest of the code I want you to notice that this function image dimensions does not take any arguments but in fact the arguments are implicitly passed to the function by the framework using request.wars right here and you can see we are accessing an argument called URL using request.wars.url now let's look at line number 18 here we are masquerading as a Mozilla browser because a lot of times websites do not like Python bots and then we are setting up a request and then grabbing the data from the URL in these lines and so once we have the data we need to convert it into a NumPy array and this is what this line does and once we have a NumPy array we need to convert it um, into an image. So IMD code is very similar to IM read except that it reads from memory. Once we have done that we can just get the height and width of the image and encode it into a JSON object and then return it. That's what this line does. And if there is an error, we just want to return whatever the error is. That's it. Okay, believe it or not, we have a working web service now. And we are going to test it using curl. So here's our curl command. So this is the URL we are going to pass to our web service. So the URL is something I grabbed from Wikipedia and the web service is located at this location. You can see the name match. So we, we created a username, learn OpenCV3, and then we created an application called OpenCV Tests, and inside default, we have image dimensions. That's the name of our function. Let's see what happens when we click, when we enter. Yep, it returns the width and the height of the image. Now there is another way to test this web service. We can go to this URL where our web service is located and then pass in the argument using a question mark. So we will pass in this argument. Okay. Now let's grab this and paste it on a web browser and you see the same answer. That brings us to the end of part one of this tutorial. In part two we will learn how to make a simple web application that allows you to upload a photo from an HTML page, do some processing in the backend and return the URL of the processed image. And if you liked this tutorial please visit us at learnopencv.com and subscribe to our email list. Thank you.